Hello, welcome to Art Rant, and today I want to talk about how we use art supplies to hold ourselves back. When I was in art school, I saw so many fellow artists that would say, okay, I'm starting a new series, and I'm so excited to paint, but first, first I need to buy this kind of paint and this kind of paper and read this kind of book and then I will make the work. So they end up going down this rabbit hole of buying this supply and this paint and this paper and this canvas and reading this book and watching this film and then what happens? In two months you check up on them and you say like so you had this really great idea for this painting what happened? Did you end up doing it? Like, I want to see. That was so cool. And what do they say? Well, no, I'm still researching. I'm just learning the paint now. I'm halfway through the book. I'm really, really understanding. I really want to get to know and this and that and I'm learning. And the whole time I'm in their studio thinking, okay, you pretty much over prepared. You have so much shit in here. You have every kind of paint, every kind of color pencil. You read a whole library of books. I am in their studio. And it's kind of causing me stress because it's like you have all the supplies, you have all the paints, you have all the books. Where the fuck is the work? So basically, I think a lot of artists use art supplies as a little pit stop, as a little procrastination thing that we do to make ourselves feel like, yeah, I am productive. Yeah, I am painting. Yeah, I have this idea and I'm not making it yet. But you know what? I'm getting the supplies for it. I'm getting prepared. We take so long to get prepared that in the end, we make nothing. So basically, long story short, instead of saying, I need something, I need this product to make my paintings, just make the fucking painting. Why don't you take out the middleman and just be good at the thing that you want to do? Okay, so how does my studio rant, because I'm clearly on one today, relates to the supplies that I have out now? Basically, I want to tell you that you already have what you need to make the drawings, the paintings, the sculptures that you actually want to make. You already have everything you need. What you need to do now is actually to make work. Because in the end, I don't care about the art supplies. As long as it's relatively good quality, it'll do. It's fine. Because look at the artists that came before us. Look at their palettes. Look at what they had. They had like a sketchbook and 10 colors and they made masterpieces. So the past year of 2020, I really focused on making the work instead of lusting after supplies that are gonna help me make the work. I have about, I think this is like a 90, 96 set of color pencils and this is all I need to do my preliminary sketches. I don't need every Holbein pencil out there to make good work. Why? Because I am simply making the work. And the more work you make, the more you, the more you figure out what you want to draw and what you want to paint. And to me, that is so much more exciting. Okay, so let's do a tour of what I actually have in this case. And I mostly use Prismacolor because I use these like light pinks, light oranges, light yellows, light greens. What else? This blue, this purple as a blending color. So this is all that I use to make my color pencil sketches. I don't get any backups. I don't get like 10 of the same color pencils. If I use one up, I will go and get it. And that's it. And this has been the most helpful art advice that I gave myself this year. Okay, art supply and color pencil reviews are great on YouTube. And going to your friend's studio and seeing like, 200 tubes of paint is great, but I think at this point artists are well into the hoarders realm They need to make a separate show for art supply hoarders So when I'm making my preliminary color pencil drawings for my paintings, this is all I use I don't need every color whatever extra color I need I can mix using basic color theory I have my alcohol pen for dissolving. I have a little eraser because it does pick up some color pencil. And I have a sharpener. And that is my color pencil set. And also keeping my color pencils in a safe case because I have so few now helps me keep them in a better state so I can use them for longer. Also, I use a brush to brush off color pencil shavings as I'm working, you make dust. This brush is great, it's really delicate, so I use that. And then I use this paper. It's just, I think, a multimedia kind of paper. It's 100% cotton. I don't know how people use vellum surface to, to draw color pencil, it's too slick for me. So I use this basic color pencil paper and and I don't have like 20 notebooks of the same type, like, like a backup ready to use. 
when I use it and I have a couple of sheets left, then I go and I buy a new set. And this is a color pencil drawing that I did recently, and I will probably make a larger painting out of it. Now that I solved color harmony problems, I really thought about the drawing of it. So to finish off this rant, all you need to do is just to make the work. You already have all the supplies, you just need to get to it. And stop using art supplies as a way to procrastinate actually doing the hard stuff. Because when I started thinking in this minimalist art supply way, it was effortless. All I wanted to do was just paint. I was so happy with the work I was making. My mind was totally consumed with the work and not with what I used to make it. So when it comes to minimalism, leave no stone unturned. And forget about the materials and just make the work that you want to make.